Continuing with the debates, Minister within the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Valerie Garrido Lowe, says the indigenous peoples across the 10 administrative regions were equitably represented in Budget 2019. In her defense of Budget 2019, Minister Valerie Garrido Lowe said that the indigenous peoples can expect continued support through training and economic opportunities next year. For the past three years since this government took office, the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs has been focusing on building the capacity of our indigenous and hinterland people. Your government, Mr. Speaker, does not believe in handouts. We believe in empowering people and giving them the economic support required that they can create successful and meaningful lives for themselves. The 2019 budget supports more green, innovative and sustainable income generating projects to the tune of almost $60 million. According to Minister Gridelow, these projects will create jobs and generate income for residents in villages including Parima in Region 7, Santa Cruz and Tobago Hill in Region 1, and Marijuana and Bina Hill in Region 9. Mr. Speaker, these projects will directly impact the poor and the vulnerable by creating employment and generating income in these communities, thus raising the standard of living and providing the opportunity for indigenous brothers and sisters to live a good life. Additionally, $16 million was allocated for the cassava flour processing facility in Quibana, $6 million for the installation of a solar system at the crab processing facility in Smiths Creek, and $50 million for the construction of the green coffee processing facility in Santa Rosa. Seneca Thorne, InfoHub. <music>